When you practice the Dhamma, you have to remember it's not just for you. You're also setting a good example. So you have to think about the impact of your actions on the people around you to make sure they are setting a good example. And you want to encourage them in whatever way you can. Sometimes encouragement is simply showing up at the sit at night. Sometimes it's more active, because the Buddha placed things in this order. Those who are helpful to themselves and to others, those who are helpful to themselves, those who are helpful to others, and then those who are helpful to neither themselves nor to others. The two in the middle are interesting. Basically, he says when you're helpful to yourself, that's when you're practicing. When you're helpful to others, that's when you encourage them in the practice. Of course, if you just encourage others but you don't do it yourself, then it's not really that worthwhile. It doesn't have much force. So it's better that you are actually practicing. But better still is when you encourage others. Again, we're not a proselytizing type, proselytizing group. We don't go out running around and advertising, standing on street corners. But here in the community, it is good to be encouraging to one another in the practice to talk about things that are related to the practice. You know, as far as what's going on in your meditation personally, talk to the teacher about that. But in general, talk in ways that are encouraging. That way, are the fact that we're living together, which compromises our seclusion to some extent, we have to put up with other people's foibles. So we have to have something that compensates for that. So try to behave in a way that's encouraging. On days when you just don't feel like sweeping up or don't feel like doing things, you say, well, how are the others going to think? Am I adding an extra burden on top of them if I don't help? Well, you go up and you do, do what you can. And you begin to find there are voices in the mind that say, no, I, not today, not today. Well, they're going to keep on saying, not today, not today. Unless you put a stop at them by saying, well, I'm not going to listen to you today, and not today, and not today. Now we, beca we become admirable friends to one another, not just one more person hanging out at the monastery. And as you meditate, the simple fact that you're sitting here, someone once compared it to a light lamppost, the lamppost does its thing, it sends out light. Of course, other people pick up on the light. The lamppost doesn't have to do anything. Or to John Lee's image, he says, it's like going near a mountain. The mountain is cool in and of itself, and it will cool you down by being near the mountain, even though the mountain hasn't decided to send some coolness in your direction. Still, the fact that you're cool, you're going to be spreading some coolness around others, emanating a good energy. That's conducive to the practice, and this way we help one another along.